Executive Biz featured Mike Daniels, as part of Executive Mosaic Media Group's coverage of Good Scouts, who were recognized for their impacts in the tech sector and demonstration of scouting values. Heather Dallara, Vice President of Contracts at Amentum, spoke with Executive Biz, regarding how industry and the government can develop greater collaboration, and the ways that the company is working to improve the contract bidding process, during the latest Executive Spotlight interview. Z Hussain, an AT&T veteran of more than 20 years, has been named the new president of the company's public sector business, effective October 16. The U.S. Navy has awarded defense contracting company Mantech, a contract worth $337 million over four years, for technical assistance and testing of a virtual training system. Whitney Barrera, former director of talent management at defense contractor Illuminate, was appointed as vice president of talent at Intelligent Waves. HII and Marksman Group have established a joint venture through the Small Business Administration's Mentor-Protégé program to advance the delivery of cybersecurity platforms to defense market customers. A defense health-focused partnership led by LADOS has deployed the U.S. military's new electronic health record system to 18 military treatment facility commands across six states. The Defense Information Systems Agency has granted Impact Level 6 provisional authorization to Palantir Technologies Federal Cloud Service. Join Potomac Officers Club's 2022 8th Annual Intel Summit on October 17, 2022. Visit PotomacOfficersClub.com slash events. Cayman's Air Vehicles Division will construct a military prototype of its cargo unmanned aerial vehicle for the U.S. Marine Corps to support its logistics operations in austere environments. Data platform developer Quantifind has secured a five-year, $23.7 million contract from the Department of Defense to manufacture an open-source threat intelligence platform.